My dear Janice family members, how are you? Hello. So today I'll be the host for these um, training courses in Chinese. So before we start, I would like to briefly introduce to you or let us discuss the environment now, the situation is now, as you all know, most of the time nowadays we work from home and we've been hearing about a lot of news. For example, there's one really famous social media, Twitter, and Twitter has announced all employees can opt to stay at home for work. And also there's another bank that has announced that um, work from home has been a permanent policy for their employees. So now for us, maybe the new question or the new idea that we can think about to, or we can explore is that if we are to stay at, stay in shelter, stay in place, or work from home for a longer while, what are the tips? Or if there's any new ideas that we can think about how to work at home, work from home better so that we can embrace a new trend better. And also we can achieve, we can deliver the performance as we used to. So today I would like to have our first um, speaker, Tracy Ho. Hello, Tracy. So Tracy will be talking about how to host a high quality Zoom meeting. So before she starts, I would like to introduce Tracy. So before she arrives at the United States, most of the time she is just a simple housewife. So before she encounters Jeunesse. Actually, she knew nothing about about, bis about this business or this industry, but within just one year, she became a diamond director. And actually under her team, there are seven diamond directors already and including herself, there are already three double diamond directors. So for Tracy, Jeunesse is a platform where ordinary people can become extraordinary and that people can find the value of life here. So today we will have Tracy, and it's our honor to have her to conduct the first training session for today's meeting. My dear Jeunesse family members, how are you? I'm very grateful, very happy to have this opportunity to share with you some tips of having Zoom meetings with your team. So actually um, the topic today for me, We'll focus on how to have a high quality Zoom meeting. Now that everyone is almost in quarantine, shelter in place, work from home, whatever you call it. We are so used to working at home. And in Jeunesse, of course, there's no exception that I think most teams are hosting online meeting and also Zoom meetings. So I think there are two aspects to explore. So first we'll look into um, what should leaders, how and what should leaders adapt? So for the leaders, I think making the right policy, making the right decision is very important. So first of all, if we are to have a high quality Zoom meeting first, um, I think we have to decide what we should do, decide the roles, the responsibility, for example, um, the content of the session, the course, the content of the courses. So in Jeunesse, we know that a lot of distributors, or a lot of partners, they have different work. They are from different walks of life. They want to know more about Jeunesse, whether it's our value, our products, or our organization through these meetings. So actually we have at least one meeting or even two meetings in a week. And for these, uh, new distributors or these um, potential distributors. I think they are they join the Zoom meetings. They are here to 
observe. Of, of course, they are here to learn and they want to see the good examples, for example, the teachers or the lecturers, so they know who are the examples to follow. So I have communicated with my team and we want to make all the Zoom meetings into shows. So all participants, all those who attend, whoever is attending the meeting, um, they, they are just like audience. They need to see the different characters, different um, excitement and different elements of the show. So they will feel really attracted. So in Jeunesse, everything is free. What I mean by free is that we have all the decisions to make. We can be creative. Well, it could be a double-sided, um, I mean, there's advantage of being so free, so creative, but also at the other on the other side of the token, we have to think about um, if it's always so creative, we have to set the goal very clearly for every week. So for example, um, in Jeunesse, there are so many things to talk about. So we should look into, for example, the development of different trends, the development of our teams, and also how the team has been developing. Should we accelerate or should we slow down a little bit? So that's our first priority to define the goal or the purpose of the meeting. So we have to start with the details. So what I mean by details, for example, is the announcement or invitation. So because every meeting there is different goals. So the invitation, the um, cover, the, the message, the uh, cover letter, the message should be different. Well, it, it, it can be as simple as just a few sentences, but it should be attractive enough that people would click and then join the meeting. And then of course the layout is very important so that the message will be clear and it's straightforward and visually it will be very pleasant. And of course for the trainers, as we all know, and I've tested this with my team, among my team so far, we haven't seen, we haven't really have anyone that has a background of a presenter or anyone has a um, drama background. So that means everyone, you know, we start from, from we start from scratch when we're using Zoom. I remember the first time I used Zoom meeting and trying to train people or offering session, I was so nervous. My heart always bumped out. So for all directors, dummy directors, when they are having their first show on Zoom, I have, I mean, I know how they feel. So for example, they have to optimize, they have to improve the quality of their slides. And of course they need company, they need some encouragement, inspiration. So every time when there's director joining Zoom as trainer, so I always have a list of topics for them. So each of the directors, if they are to become trainers in Zoom, they can, they have the um, freedom to choose what they want to talk about. And if it's a topic that is closer to their life that they feel uh, more comfortable with, then of course they would have better speeches. They, they could deliver better um, content. So for each training session, we double, uh, whether it's Diamond director, double diamond director. I mean, we need to communicate in advance, even though it's just one minute or two minute speech uh, uh, remarks before, after. But being the host, even though the host is not speaking a lot about any or, or speak very long about anything, but host is the host is a very important. The host is like the spirit of the show, so. The host also excites people and before the lecture start his or her presentation, the host can guide the um, trainer and also set the atmosphere of the whole session. And the, aside from the host and um, trainer, we have some um, storytellers, meaning those who share their life stories. So um, it could be Ruby directors, 
or Sapphire director. So actually last month, I remember I had a Zoom meeting with my team and I was so impressive because there are some new Sapphire directors and they became Sapphire directors, I mean, during the quarantine period. So two of them, they are so new. They were so new to Zoom, they were so nervous. So, however, um, the moment when they learn that they need to um, share their story in a Zoom meeting, um, they started writing their script. But for them, because they are so, they were so inexperienced, they didn't know how to adjust the camera or the music. So um, we supported them step by step. So their team leader also helped a lot. Um, their team leader helped them train um, Zoom meeting every time to be to familiarize themselves with all the room features. So eventually, after all this hard work, it was a perfect, it was a global um, presentation. So I remember one of the two new Sapphires, Sapphire directors, one of her, one of them is a um, full-time housewife. The other is a 72 years old. Even though they were so new to Zoom, but they practiced so much. And the day when they are finally online, they were powerful, really powerful. So I think from these experiences, uh, my, learn, my lesson is that, lesson, lesson learned is that as long as you have a clear topic, you have a well set agenda, if you continue to inspire your team members, that you guided them well, you can discover the real diamond in them so that they can share the light, the story from within. And also there's another very important important thing um, is the volunteers. So actually before, um, before this, um, before we um, have so many um, Zoom meetings, I remember um, a lot of directors, I mean, they were so active in different social media. So there was a um, Emerald director. Um, she was testing the um, internet signal because having the meeting, the first priority is that you have a stable internet. So he tried um, in her uh, in the house. The Wi-Fi signal is not ideal. He went around to visit different bars, public Wi-Fi. The Zoom was not ideal, so he tried everywhere, and then finally he found a corner where the signal was smooth enough. So. Whatever they do, I mean, all these stories, I think it means um, having a clear definition of, of the roles in this meeting is very important. So you know what you should do, you know what the topic is all about, and then you know how to support your team members. So different people in a Zoom meeting, whether they are sharing their personal story, whether they are um, interviewing um, the newly recognized directors or they're the host or the trainer. I mean, as long as you have a clear definition of the role you play in a Zoom meeting, I think it would be, I mean, it will never go wrong. So aside from the decision-making of the directors, I think there's another very important tip. And the second part is the volunteer. So, so in our volunteer group who supported the um, Zoom meeting, um, first of all, they are um, Sapphire director above and under um, Diamond director. So our definition for this volunteer, um, our definition is um, zero mistake. What we mean by zero mistake, for example, when and how to turn on, turn off the camera, the music and everything. Like I said, we may, we will try to make it into a great show. So these volunteers, um, they, of course, they have drills, they have rehearsal. 
at least twice for every meeting. And also everyone during the meeting have been fully concentrated so that we can achieve this perf uh, achieve perfect presentation. So all these volunteers, they stay there with the um, trainers, with the host and everyone. They dedicated their time and effort to making the show perfect. And we are on the same page that even though they are volunteers, we tried our best. I mean, other team members um, will also try their best to support the volunteers because these volunteers, they are the future diamonds. So they are the people who need to learn. So for volunteer group, we need to find those who have compassion, who also passion, excitement, because their effort, their power is sustainable to the team. For example, today, even though um, we only see diamond director or double diamond di directors speaking in front of the camera, sharing their story of Jeunesse. However, behind all these events, maybe you can imagine there's actually so many people there are working hard to make this event um, online. Of course, the interpreters and also the um, back end office, administrative team, etc. Um, it's a collective effort that we make these events real and perfect. It's an international level um, event. So even though we are the speakers, we show ourselves. I mean, we are like um, now famous or, or like being a speaker in front of the camera, but we need, I mean, we cannot do without those people behind the scene. So these are the tips I would like to share with you how to make high quality Zoom meetings. So once again, I would like to extend my gratitude to the, uh, my partners, um, all the collaborative team in front of and behind the team, uh, in, behind the scene. And I believe after this pandemic, I think in Jeunesse, we will see each other on Diamond Director's Day. So now let's, um, trans let's um, get back to Iru. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, for such a wonderful presentation. I think what you have shared with us shows that actually we need to put in a lot of efforts to show the results. So all those ordinary and simple Zoom meetings actually are the result of the hard work put in by different, different players and different people. So actually, you have really inspired us through your presentation. So once again, thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. So next up, I would like to invite Victor, one of our trainers. Hello, Victor. Victor is a double di is a diamond director from Canada. He is also a practitioner of the Jeunesse lifestyle, and he is actually a marathon runner. In the nineties, he is a certified CPA in China, and he has two certificates. And in two thousand one, he immigrated to Canada. And one of his um, work shows the uh, effort of his uh, training. And in 2015, he started his business with Jeunesse. And in his second year, he became a diamond director. And his um, team actually spread around the world. So I would like to invite Victor to share some of his experiences with us. So please welcome Victor. Thank you. Thank you, Iru. I would also like to thank Jeunesse for giving me this opportunity to share this presentation with everyone here. So I am very happy because the topic today especially the uh, Jeunesse University, especially the activities are all held online compared with the activities in the past years. We had physical meetings on site and now we are moving towards online. And 
Back in the days, we used to go different doors to doors, but this year we stayed at home and we support our team through the internet. So my team, like you said, actually spread around in 60 countries, over 60 countries around the world. So we are helping people to start their career and start their business at home and spread their business around the world. And we hope that through this, we will be able to spread the brand of Genesis around the world. So in my presentation today, I would like to tell people how you can manage online meetings and to explore the global market. Actually, Jeunesse is a company that has a global footprint and no other companies can have such a feat like Jeunesse. So how can you manage or how can you hold an online meetings like Jeunesse? How can you be the trendsetter like Jeunesse? So we need to put everything into perspective. For example, I think this is a good timing for us to have such a good platform. Jeunesse as a platform is a seamless connection. It is a platform that knows no boundary. So through Jeunesse, everyone can spread their businesses and their teams around the world. So with such a huge market, unlike the traditional uh, businesses where you are confined to a single city or a single country, and if you have just one person or two people, you may not go big. So if you have the internet, you have this online tool to actually expand your business. So at the very first beginning, Janice, has identified itself as an online platform. So we know that Jeunesse is about the internet. Now we have the online meetings. It's very important for us to know the necessity and the feasibility of the online meetings. So through the internet, we will be able to expand our room and we can have more time to interact with more people. So. Once again, in the traditional businesses, you have to rely heavily on your campaigns or your posters, but through the internet, you can go really big. For any teams, if you have an online meeting platform, you will be able to have more opportunities. Actually, online meetings is a big trend that we must embrace. Everyone wants to balance their life and their work. At the same time, they can have an, a stable income and then they can also make extra money to support their families. So especially in this, um, and at this time of the coronavirus outbreak, we know that we can see that personal entrepreneurship has to embrace the online trend or the internet. So you can stay at home with a single platform online. You can actually kick back and at home, you will be able to sip coffee and then use your computer to communicate with other people. Now, social media is also a very important trend that we must embrace. For example, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Weixin. All of these social media have shortened the media between people. Actually, all of them have made better communications possible. We are able to engage more people that is far from reach back in the traditional business. So the development of social media actually provides us with a, an opportunity to reach out to more people. Jeunesse actually, through a lot of research and collaborations, Jeunesse has developed a platform for Jeunesse Live. And this Jeunesse University actually employs this tool 
and it shows that it can actually uh, be used in different languages and it has a lot of opportunities for us to learn and through these opportunities we really need to uh, learn how to use the online tools provided by Jeunesse so that we can break into different markets around the world. So what are the tools for this online meeting platform? So for example, we have different um, tools in different countries. So for example, in China, we have some examples here. For example, Ding Ding, Skype, and the uh, Weixin and Tencent and Zoom and Jeunesse Live. All these, all these tools are very uh, useful. So I think that Zoom is, and Zoom and Jeunesse Live can be the most valuable tools for you. For example, uh, and also QQ can also operate bilaterally and through Skype, you can also use it to communicate and to give speeches and to spread messages around the world. So I think that Zoom and Jeunesse Live are the most useful tools. They can have this model for you to go one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many or you can give speeches to many people or you can just simply go one-on-one. -on -one. So how can you organize an online meeting successfully? So first of all, you need to make preparation. And second, you have a clear division of labor. And third, you need to have professional image. And then you have to have good lighting and sounds. And also you have to know how to use the proper tools and last but not least, the resources. So how do you make preparation? So in order to give a meeting, you have to make preparations. For example, first of all, your internet speed. If your internet speed is low, you will not have, you, you will always be on the buffering, right? So if you have a low speed, internet speed, it will actually affect your audience. So we need to check our internet speed. So you can use faster.com and haster.mac. These two URLs can actually, these two websites can actually help you to check your internet speed. So what's the ideal internet speed for you to have an online, in online meetings? Well, I think it's 1.5 megabits. So for upload and download, 1.5 uh, Mbips is actually an very ideal. If you want to download stuff, then maybe 10 Mbips. So before you have an online meetings, you need to shut down other apps or other uh, other resources that may take up your online speed. So before that, you also need to uh, prepare your materials. And then you it's about making promotions prior to your online meetings because we want to engage more people. So we need to promote and try to reach out to more people before the meeting so that you can actually spread the messages for the meeting. And it could be an, a message online or a message through your mobile phones. So if your message can be cropped into an image that's suitable on the mobile phones, actually more and more people can get access to that message. So we know that many people have different priorities in their lives. Some may focus on health, others may focus on work. So through that, we will be able, we need to know that we need to identify the different um, the uh, campaigns. We need to know our audience so that we can have better campaigns. And then we need to know our trainers. Some trainers are humorous, some trainers are very rigorous. So we need to 
place them into different meetings so that we can really break into different target audience. And then our meetings will be more vibrant. And then you have to have music so that you will have more features and highlights in your uh, meetings. And then you need to, before your meetings, you need to adjust your equipment. And then the second thing you need to know is the professional image. For example, the background. For example, you, what you see in the background of my image here is that it's a global map. Because we are in a global business, we have to show the image of globalization. That is why I have this global map behind me. So that, uh, and then your uh, screenshot or maybe your uh, headshot, you need to have enough space in the camera so that people will not see you in a squeezed um, space. And then your attire, it has to be a business attire because we are in a global business. We need to show our professional image so that we need to have professional attire and business attire. For ladies, do not show your cleavage. I think that's very important. So if today we are focused on some of the professional image, we need to have suit and ties. So if you are focusing on physical well-beings, it's maybe sports wear that will really cater into this image or this theme. And of course, your camera should always fixate on the upper body. So also the division of labor is very important in Zoom meeting because this is after all a teamwork. So we need to have a host, a professional host, script should be prepared in advance. And then of course we have guests, guest speaker. Some of the guests will be talking about um, products, some on trends or personal stories. And there are people who share the experiences or share their um, experiences with the products. So it depends on the topic or the direction of your meeting. So you can combine, you can arrange the agenda based on um, the topic of the meeting. So if you have a good plan, of course, the audience, they can enjoy more the meeting. And of course, you have to, good, have to, have, you have, to have good timing, meaning that people should be on time. And then we have someone to take minutes um, or take notes so that it will be easier to recap or review. And now I'd like to talk about the lighting and voice. So you should have the spotlight. So spotlight, it's on the speaker. So it's not just about lighting. It's actually, it can make your um, features on the face um, more attractive, more beautiful or handsome. So that's the spotlight and then also we have a supporting light and supporting light is like 40 oh, most of the time like 45 degrees from the side so your features um it will look more three uh more um 3d dimensional that is less flat on the screen so also we can have a ceiling light a top light Top light, it's about the head so that um, you have some light in the background and also on the floor. And then actually you look thinner, your face would look smaller. And for background, there's a um, background light, however, is against the spotlight, but it's, it's after all supportive. So you have to be careful in using this background light. Background light is like softening the scene. You could if you don't want it to be too strong, you can have a film, a thin piece of paper on the lighting installation. And aside from lighting and voices, um, voice, I think we need to have some filter. 
sometimes the pitch or it doesn't feel comfortable so you can have a good microphone and then you have some filter you can adjust the tone so it sounds more comfortable and aside from lighting and voice there are some other tips for example on how to um, leverage the different meeting sources well these sources are there available sometimes they're provided by Jeunesse, um in our headquarter actually Jeunesse has a big database where you can access all these sources so in um, jeunesse.com um, you can go to the website to check for example they're um, about the company so for example if you want to share um, about or talk about the incentive travel or the um, company history you can easily find those stories or clips on our official website or for example maybe the financial um, plan the bonus um, system or um, there are lots of sources just right there in our website and also you can share the um, recent recognition of different um, directors so that the um, potential distributors those who are interested in Jeunesse they can see um, or they can be inspired by those um, for example diamond directors and then of course we have some campaign or offering announcement and um, those instant message instant messages or latest information are very important for your member uh, distributors so when you open your back office j office or sales jeunesse there's so many information so many things to share even how to design your name card or the template so this platform in jeunesse global it's very convenient actually it's like house full of treasure so of course one person we have limited power we can have all this 24 hours and we can do some our time our efforts is limited however if we have a team and now that everyone is staying at home whether in shelter in place or quarantine we can have this collective efforts to operate our team so also um i think it's a good habit that you know how to summarize and to push the audience to the next level call to action so the meeting it could be one hour two hours but there are always aspects that okay for example you find that maybe next time i can improve so after each meeting um, you have this um, conclusive review and then you try to improve of course it would make your next meeting better so every time with this conclusive review i think it's important process to um, let everyone learn from this meeting so for example if you if your if your members they have uh, they could accumulate experiences from these meetings and gradually i think they will become better trainer or better speaker online so in this era nowadays we have the social media we have all this online marketing so thanks to Jeunesse, we have all these tools online tools that we can develop our own platform for global business and we have different channels of income so you can start up your business at home and it will be a great possibility a great opportunity for you so by this note i would like to conclude my presentation today thank you so much thank you for this opportunity for me to share with you so thank you very much victor thank you so much today you have shared with us a lot of detailed information these are really practical so from your presentation we know um, the trend of the online meeting and then we learn what are the details we have to pay more attention to for example the internet signal so for example www.fast.com it's a good place to check your internet speed and then you can prepare yourself better and also you can think about possible solutions if your internet connection is not ideal so our next speaker i would like to welcome our partner
And thank you, Victor, again. I would like to welcome our next speaker. Yes, we can all hear you, Michelle. Hello, how are you? I think it's my internet problem. Yes, thank you for your patience. I have to adjust a bit. So these are really accident. I mean, these are things that we encounter very often online. For example, I think it's a good timing. I mean, it's real time. So everyone can know if they're hosting um, inter meeting online, what are the um, challenges they might encounter. So, okay. No problem now. So thank you, Michelle for coming. So I would like to introduce Michelle. Yeah. Michelle had experiences in international trade and traditional trading business. She has 11 years of working experiences. And before she joined Janus, she has been a full-time mom for five years. So she's been looking for new opportunities to take care of the family and at the same time have some income. So once she learned about Janus, she decided to dedicate herself to join Janet. She used only one year and five months to become a diamond director. Now her team is around more than 70 countries around the world and she's leading more than 200,000 people. So her topic today is how to share content online. So now I would like to have Michelle this. Hello, my dear Jonas family members in North America and also around the world. I hope you are doing well. I'm now in Las Vegas. I'm sharing with you live from Las Vegas and thank you for your introduction, Iru. And I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share with you guys. And I hope um, today's presentation will be useful to you. So this COVID-19 pandemic is unprecedented and it's around the world. And no matter which industry you're in, I think people nowadays are thinking and trying to redefine how they should work and also how they should create their future. For example, a lot of um, multinational companies, they are transforming from offline to online. Even the um, college graduates, the commencement ceremony, the graduation ceremony, they are going online, even wedding parties. In Janaz, there's no exception. So before COVID-19 pandemic, we are all dedicated, we are all passionate in visiting people face to face, whether you are just courtesy calls or group or, or team meetings. However, now that we are in this pandemic, I think we should quickly adjust this new online culture and bring our events from offline to online. So when we go online, how to maintain the same power the same level of dynamics. What are the tips? Well, how to prepare for online meeting. I think that's really the key. So as you might have participated in various online meetings, whether among your teams or with the headquarter, I think we all learn a lot from those meetings. And behind these meetings, it's a collective effort of our leaders. They prepare so long, so extensively for the meeting, and then they can have a perfect show when we join the meeting. So when we are planning for a sharing session, first of all, I think we should know very clearly the goal of the meeting. So it's not, it's not just like showing up. Actually, by online meeting, you should you should think about that you should reach deeper, reach wider than face-to-face -face visit. Because in the past, a lot of um, directors, a lot of our team members, they dedicate so 
many so much effort in meeting people face to face even though it takes time but it's so i mean it's always wonderful to see people face to face so now due to the pandemic we couldn't visit people so we move everything online so i think actually it's more effective than visiting people face to face why because in the past that you have to go through cities you have to change cities change hotels every two days however even so that you're even you've been visiting so many different cities um there's only a limited number for reach it could be limited in certain city or maybe a certain number of people and a lot of sharing a lot of great speeches from our founders they simply weren't able to they simply weren't allowed to share i mean because face-to-face -face meeting the time is limited but now thanks to our online technology t different teams big or small can join simultaneously so whether it's a big seminar webinar of more than 1000 people or just or it's just a small meeting with uh, with dozens of people we have to be um, detail oriented in preparing for the show and we have to be focused so there are six different levels so first of all there's a pre-meeting for the core team there's six stages in planning a good show online and so this in this core meeting we have to think about the um central idea and then what is the guide guidance for the speakers and then we have to prepare the slides and then you share the meeting um send announcement so now i would like to talk about the six stages of preparing a good show so first of all the meetings prior to your online meeting actually the prior meeting for the leaders is very crucial because it will lead the direction for our discussion online so what happens at these meetings prior to the meeting first of all we will discuss the needs and demands so we actually need to identify our goals so what does that mean we need to identify the needs of our teams and also we need to identify the needs for the activities at hand so we need to discuss the needs of our team that's the first thing and the second thing is that we need to talk about the themes and the directions that we are going for for our online meetings so that we will be able to talk about what we are going to cover in our next meetings and then we will talk about what are the candidates for our guest speakers because our guest speakers must identify with ourselves they should be the leaders and partners that really identify with us the second stage that we have is the contents that needs to be covered in these meetings so basically we have several pillars. First of all, we have orientation, sharing, training, and back-end operation training, member training, and Sapphire leadership training. All these meetings are the meetings that we need to know and try to enhance from time to time. So these six meetings are very necessary and of course there are some you might think that needs to be added into this category but we have several directions for these six um, meetings so first of all we need to have meetings that are suitable for all partners and the new incomers the reason why we have this is that some meetings might have different target audience so some
meetings might be particularly fit for some certain groups. So we need to have a meeting that is catering all that that could cater to all partners and new incomers. So first of all, the orientation. I think that the orientation is an opportunity for you to showcase the platform of Jeunesse to our partners and our newcomers. So the newcomers can actually know more about Jeunesse. So at the presentation, the partners can also go back and forth and through different guest speakers presentation, they will be able to elevate themselves. And going forward, they will be able to join such meetings and share as guest speakers in the future. And also for the sharing, our partners can tune in so that they will know more about our products. And by having the knowledge of our products, they will be able to know how to properly use them. And of course, we have some newcomers. If you share our products with our newcomers, I think that you can also try to play into the strengths of our products. And then by that, we will be able to recruit more people. So at meetings where we invite our members to share, they can come here and share their stories at Jeunesse and what they've seen at Jeunesse. This will also help the development of the team. And of course, at such meetings, we will have a session where the meeting, where the participants can share their backgrounds. So at such presentation, I think that maybe a certain remark made by a certain member will be uh, will be inspiring for the newcomers. And of course, at such sessions, the uh, advancement of our partners or our members will be shared and updated at such sessions. And that will also help inspire the rest of the members. And the second meeting is the training sessions for the members. So the training sessions of members, it means that all participants must be members. So in such meetings, we will actually impart the wisdom or the basic knowledge of how to operate your business at Jeunesse. For example, how to uh, send out invitations, how to talk about your business and how to develop your market and also how to really sell the promotional package. For example, the um, generation advancement, all of these can be can be explored in such meetings. So why do we include members in such meetings and exclude non-members? For example, in these meetings, we will talk about invitations and how to talk about place orders, uh, order placing. So we have this principles of ABC. So you identify the people and you have all sorts of people that might have different excuse, excuses and different um, comments. So if you invite a newcomers and this newcomer does not know about Jeunesse. And if they are in such meetings, they might be a bit, um, they might be a bit appalled by some of the statements that we might make at such meetings because they think that, they might think that we are simply trying to sell them products, not trying to share these experiences with them. So I have to tell you that such meetings, you have to be very specific about the qualifications of the participants. And the next 
meetings is for the Sapphire executives. All these meetings should be exclusive to the Sapphire ex executives because we have to know that some of the leaders, even though we send out invitations to the Sapphire exclusive meetings, all these invitations may be sent out to different um, chat groups. And some leaders might think that maybe we can include some of the members that's not Sapphire. And once they're in these meetings, they might be inspired because they can, you know, they can hear and they can listen to some of the Sapphire members' um, experiences. But the thing is, sometimes we share our experiences for the new executives, they might not perceive what we have seen at Jeunesse because they are newcomers. And at the very first beginning, they think that everything is very easy and they are very confident about the business. They do not know the stories or the hard efforts they must give. So you, they, they don't know how to enhance their skills that will be covered in such meetings. So these meetings will actually deter them to really devote themselves to becoming a leaders. So they might not advance themselves. So we need to identify different target audience at different meetings. So there is a boundary here that we must uphold. The third thing that I would like to offer is the invitation of guest speakers. So based on different themes of our meetings, we can invite different guest speakers. And we advise that you have hosts and at least two um, guest speakers. Like Victor said, in each meeting, you need to have a host to really try to integrate all these sharings and experiences from different speakers. For example, if you have a meeting and the meeting is about sharing the ideas and uh, philosophies to with, to the uh, newcomers who were from the traditional backgrounds of business. And then at the such meetings, you can actually invite um, people with such similar backgrounds. And for example, we have some members who were or who are um, stay home moms. Maybe at the at such meetings, we can invite stay-at-home moms or previous stay-at-home moms to share their experiences. And then for the audience, they can actually gain some perspectives from these speakers. So we have to be very careful and try to analyze what's the topic that we are aiming at so that we can know who to invite to be the guest speakers. So based on our experiences, the interviews or the panels might be the best fit for such meetings because they are very easy and also people might feel at ease. So at these meetings, the host can actually raise any questions to the guest speakers. For the audience, they will be able to engage themselves by focusing on the questions that have been raised. So we advise that at each meeting, you need to at least have a host and at least two to three or four maybe um, guest speakers. The fourth thing that I would like to cover is that we need to prepare the materials for the uh, for the uh, meetings. Maybe something that you would like to share through the screens. So you please do not um, 
includes personal information or maybe exaggerating information on such on such materials because some members might have their own per, uh, have their own uh, personal quotations or their personal information on the materials that is to be issued or that is to be shared through the online meetings. If you are sharing one on one, that's fine. But in meetings where we have so many people, this information might not be ideal because we are sharing with different teams from different parts of the world. So make sure you do not contain personal information and also do not have any texts that will exaggerate the um, exaggerate our products. For example, you don't say, well, we don't exaggerate the uh, benefits coming from our uh, products, say, um, we can help people fight cancer. So what we need to do is to share the principles and the ideas behind our products, that's all. So the fifth thing I would like to cover is the notice or the invitation of our meetings. Well, basically, like I said, you need to identify the target audience based on the theme of your meetings. So you need to keep that in mind you need to identify the target audience and you need to make a uh, note, you need to send out notice prior to the meetings, of course, and do it many times. For me, in our teams, we do it three times because, you know, people are always occupied by different things in their lives. And some people might not prioritize Jeunesse as their important stuff or their um, priorities in life. So we will send out uh, the notice maybe a month prior to that. And then a few days before the uh, meetings, we will send out information or the invitation again through maybe waiting. And then the second invitation will be sent or the notice will be sent maybe a couple of hours prior to the meetings so that we can remind the partners and the participants. And the third reminder will be sent out maybe 10 to 15 minutes before the meeting so that they can join online on time. So with three different reminders at different times, I believe that our partners can really participate on time so that they will not miss it. So um, please remember um, to send an announcement or, or gentle reminders in advance at least three times. Um, last but not least, number six is the post meeting among the core leaders. That is, we need to do a summary, have a conclusive review on um, what are the points that we improve. So, a lot of times we say only with relentless improvement and taking actions, then we can be better. So a lot of leaders, they foster their capabilities. I mean, they become a expert from novice through all these experiences. So we learn with everyone else. We learn together. So. After we conclude the meeting, every time we would have a summary, we will have a recap meeting. It's very important. With this um, recap and review meetings, then we can really improve ourselves. So as you can see on slide, I mean, these are the six points, the six stages that I think are very important to host Zoom meetings. So. I hope um, I had brought you um, new energy in making good Zoom meeting, and I hope you can leverage all these digital tools available to us, developing better meetings and getting across new milestones in your Jeunesse business. Thank you very much, Michelle. 
So I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, thank you for having shared on this topic, how to improve the quality of online meetings. So actually before and after the meeting, there are a lot of things to prepare. She talked about a lot of details. For example, um, we are sending invitation and it's not just sending out announcement or, um, but it's about persuading them to come. And also setting the right audience is also very important. If you send invitation to the wrong people, is not they will only bring negative if, um, results. So thank you, Michelle. Our next speaker is Sally. She's from Canada. She is a Sapphire Elite Executive. And she is very positive. And I would say she's like a um, a star presenter. So, um, twenty years ago, she immigrated. She came to Canada. She graduated from college. She had a good job with high salary. So, in the very beginning, when she um, learned about Janas, she did not immediately embrace this business. However, she soon discovered this is a wonderful opportunity. So very quickly, she decided to dedicate her time and effort to become a full-time Jeunesse distributor. So very quickly, she became a Sapphire Elite executive and her positive attitude, her charming, her sunny attitude. I think she's really a good mentor for us everyone in the Jeunesse family, in the Jeunesse family. So she is Sapphire Elite Executive. And now let us listen to Sally on how to optimize um, your, uh, optimize the results of your campaign or promotion, promotion in social media. So now I would like to share with you my slides, how to maximize social media for Jeunesse business. So I'd like to share with you my story. I'm from Hengyang, Hunan province. So 1992, as I graduated from college, I went to Shenzhen. And then 1999, I came to Canada. So actually in Canada, I came here for a um, master's degree in industrial management. So I work in a logistic company. So it's a good job, but I still feel I still have um, I still have dreams to be accomplished. So in the very beginning, at least the first 10 months, um, I know Jeunesse, but I said no to um, sponsor. However, as I gradually learn about the system, this corporate culture, etc., I decided to become a full-time distributor. So I'm really grateful that now that under this p pandemic, um, such time of challenges, I'm still making money. So this is really wonderful. So I would like to share with you, um, when I was in NDA, my professor in the very first course, she said, um, you need to see and be seen, meaning that the world sees you and you see the world. And today we are in the um, internet era. I think the way we look at this world and how the world looks at me, both have changed. For example, the user of Facebook, there's 2 million users on Facebook and in, on Instagram, there's 1 billion. And Twitter, there are 300 million. And actually in WeChat, we have 1.2 billion users. So this is really like we're sitting on gold mines. So this social media thing, here I have a matrix, social media matrix. So there are four dimensions. The first dimension is social apps. For example, there are WeChat, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, P, Interest. In these apps, there are a lot of room to integrate. I mean, it's like you can attract people of similar interest on WeChat, we have, um, for example, the Greenfinger group where you can find new friends, talk about gardening, how to grow flowers or trees. You can have classes 
um, have course in the group, for example, um, how to arrange flowers, making cakes. It's a great opportunity to meet new people. And then secondly, um, VLOG. Do you know that there's a new feature in WeChat that um, you can have a one minute um, limited video that um, for limited people, they can view your work. So on WeChat, I think it's a great platform that you can share what you think about the products or what Jeunesse have inspired you, etc. So doing um, social media, the vlog, I think it's a wonderful um, opportunity that people know more about you. Not only that you share new ideas on social media, but also um, how you prepare for it. And on these vlogs, there are a lot of things to talk about, how to stay healthy, how to have better sleep, etc. So after you finished um, the video shooting, you can um, upload to Little Red Book, TikTok, etc. We have Bilibili, we have YouTube. So these are wonderful places wonderful channels that you can expose um, your video so more people can see you. So there are also some software that you can, um, you can apply filters or better material for you to use. So thirdly, I think we can also make blog. We have a public account on WeChat, we also have Weibo and Meipian Jianshu. These are um, very popular blog sites in China. Like I said, you can develop some inspiration into, for example, at least a few paragraphs of an article. And then this is really good method to reach your customers. For example, um, I remember in one of my blog entry, I talk about risk. Uh, we talk about reserve and um, she sent me a message saying that I'm so interested in this product reservoir, the um, ingredient of reserve. So she became a very good client of mine. So that's the power of blog. And fourthly, we can have, we can use live streaming, maybe five minutes a day. Um, you can attract um, people who are interested in this, in the content you share. So live streaming, for example, in Janus, we are so used to live streaming. We have Zoom meetings and there are also other um, streaming platform. For example, Youbo, Tebaobao, Zhibo. These are very popular live streaming app in China. So in hosting a Zoom meeting, I mean, there are a lot of things to think about. So with all these hard works. Um, here are some techniques I would like to share with you. First of all, where do you find sources for the background or photo? Go to Jeunesse official site. So in our official website, um, there are lots of materials that you can leverage, um, video, um, voice files. So I remember I once talked to a photographer. Um, we talked about how to make the best image, the best video. And this photographer told me, I really want to make everything better so that the distributors in Janess can enjoy the tools and build their business faster. And well, actually in Janess, we won a new award with nine golden award and 15 silver awards. So actually in our official website, there are lots of materials for you to use. And also in our J office, actually, if you um, follow the link on the screen, you, can dis you will discover new resources and also the Instagram, also uh, official account of Jeunesse. I think a lot of things to find out. And also I recommend that when you are introducing products to your audience, you have to be professional. So how to, how to deal with the small ailments? I think when the doctor focus on you, it, uh, and, 
not ailments. Um, but it's um, I mean, you have to adjust, for example, the lighting and everything. You have to adjust um, these small disadvantages, maybe limitations in your room, and then you improve it every time. And also um, telling stories. For example, when I'm introducing NARA or AMPM, I would say, for example, my neighbor tells my neighbor told me, my friend told me. I mean, I will have stories start with. Um, so, uh, some uh, attractive triggers. So I think the best storytelling, um, the best example in storytelling will be Randy Ray. I think he's really a wonderful person. She's a, he is the best storyteller. And falsely, um, as I have mentioned our official website, I think you can also Google, you can Google free video content. There are a lot of things um, that you can use, for example, um, I have top 10 websites with free material. And I found out that as long as I key in the keyword, then um, then they will take me to landing pages of a lot of good content. For example, if I key in genetic in the Google search bar, of course I get a lot of wonderful and quality material. And fifth, number five, you have to be short and sweet because um, we chat the video, there's a time limit of one minute. And if it's among your friends, it's only 30 seconds. So even if you are um, transferring video between accounts, it's no more than five minutes. So you have to be consistent. So you know that a lot of um, people, I mean, they did not know in the very beginning, maybe they did not have any audience, but gradually they accumulated um, the traffic. So you need to leave your contact for people to contact you. The eighth thing is that you have to have a certain session where you can interact with people. For example, you have a certain tools to display, or maybe that has to do with cosmetic, and then you can maybe share at this certain session saying that, okay, if you're interested, you can send me or drop me a message. So what then should you do? So how and when do you invite? So you need to establish friendship and trust with your fans and then be a good listener and understand their needs. And lastly, you can invite them for discover, Jeunesse you know, or a virtual presentation so that they will be able to get in touch with Jeunesse. You know. In the era of the internet and a big health, I think that we 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 need to keep in mind what Dickens said. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Best or worst actually depends on how we are dealing with this um, trend. We can be our own director or photographer or editor or journalist. This business is for everyone. We can all be a part of it. So once again, I wish everyone good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Sally, for your presentation. I think what you said actually really inspired me. I think it's also also, uh, it's also the same for everyone here because we know that in the era of WeChat and other um, social media, we have all sorts of apps that we can use, but you have let us know that the utilization of the social media is still not big enough. So your presentation actually allows us to really get into it so with those tools, we will be able to promote our business and ourselves. So once again, thank you, Sally. Thank you. So next up, I would like to welcome our last speaker, Min Li. Is Min Li here? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Iru. Hi, Min Li. So we go way back, right? So we actually see mainly in different meetings and platforms. I would like to really thank you for being a part of this online meeting. I know that many people know Min Li, but also a lot of people don't know her. So let me talk about her. So Min Li moved to the US in 1997. She was a business owner 
and before Jeanette, she was a uh, single mom, but she was not satisfied. And in 2011, she was inspired by Jeanette, and then she devoted herself. And within two years and nine months, she became a diamond director. But she did not stop there. She wanted to go further. She inspired a lot of people through her successful stories and helped them change their lives. Now she is our double diamond director and her business actually spread around more than a hundred countries. And she has five double diamonds and 20 diamond directors in her teams. So today she will talk about how to establish an online brand. So Mimi, please. Thank you, thank you, Iru. So I am very grateful for having this opportunity to share with everyone how to establish your own brand online. I think many years ago, I started to host online meetings through Zoom and online presentation. I think I have accumulated maybe six or seven years of experiences of doing online activities and hosting online meetings. So how do we establish our personal brands online? This is very important because once you turn on your camera, everyone will be able to see you and everyone you have in front of the camera will be displayed for our Jeunesse family members and other newcomers. So in this process, I actually explored myself. I try to improve myself. At times like this, every one of us, everyone from different walks of life started to move towards online platforms such as Zoom. It's like Sally said, sharing through public accounts through different social media can have a big influence. So what I would like to say here is that your personal image, the establishment of your intern, uh, your personal image takes practice. For example, being glamorous is something that you need to work for. So for example, what you are showing in front of people, for example, the lighting on your face can influence people because if you have bad lighting, people might see you differently and how you address yourselves, for example, your attire and your cosmetics, your hair, your makeups, everything will tell people about you. So if people want to work with you, being professional will help you engage with them. And your background actually matters too. Sometimes I see people in front of the camera trying to promote their business, but the camera shows the background in a very, very messy way because they might have a really, you know, very messy kitchen in the back or messy beds. So all of these things must be modified. We have a lot of tools. For example, we have background options on Zoom. You can choose your options. And also you can showcase some of the pictures or photos you took when you travel around the world and make them as the background picture. And with that, you will be able to actually avoid having a messy background in the back. So these pictures are a way out for you on Zoom. And also you can use the, uh, some of, you can also use some of the materials provided on Zoom. Also, I would like to say that smile is very important. Actually, when I first used Zoom, I was very nervous and I didn't, I was not very comfortable in front of the camera. So what you need to do is that you need to practice smiling in front of the mirror. You know, you see people smiling in a very perfect way and we don't know how to smile like them, right? So I actually had this training session where we teach people how to work on your smile. Well, I do not have time for us to go into that detail. You can actually Google it online. 
there's the session where we teach people how to work on our smiles because our smiles can actually convey a positive message for other people. And actually, they will help people to get inclined with you. You need to have a positive mood and that will actually infuse, diffuse to other people and you will attract other people to follow suit. And these people will no longer care what you do actually because they are just in that vibe with you. So everything will then fall into place, right? And then you also need to work on your lighting, your outfits, all of these things must show that you are professional. So now I want to showcase what is behind the glamorous side that we showcase. So you can see from this picture, this is my first picture. So in this picture, you can see that a lot of people might perceive me as a very glamorous person because I have the perfect outfit, perfect hairstyle, and the perfect makeup. But actually, what's behind the secret? If you look into this picture, I actually place a lot of things below my laptop so that the camera on my laptop can actually uh, be on the same level of my eyes so that people will show and so that the camera will show that we have a very, um, we have a very nice smile and other things. So I use the boxes or the printers uh, for the things to actually put on, put below my laptops. And then lighting, I have this um, nice stand. All of these things will show we will help show a better side of my light. And this is a different angle to showcase the lighting. So we have my Mac, my laptop here. So this is my chair, which I'm sitting on right now. So there's two boxes and then there's lighting. You can also see a small clock. You have to keep pacing yourselves and you need to keep being on time. So I need to have this clock where I can know that I am on time. All of these tricks are the things that we need to keep in mind to really build up our personal image. Oh, these are small tools, but these small tools can actually help you establish a professional brand and it also helps you look better. So every image, every glamorous image actually hides a lot of details. You might see a person on stage showing all different positive sides, but you have to know that there's a lot of details that have been put, that have been uh, worked on. So I try to um, heighten the level of my laptop. So I use a lot of things to put below my laptop, for example, the uh, reserves boxes and other boxes. I use a lot of lights as well. And there's also label so that I can keep track of my things to uh, so that I can keep track of my th the things that I would like to cover in my presentation. You know, as a diamond director, you always share your experiences online. You know, I remember my first time, the backstage was very dirty, it was very messy. But when you're on stage, you look fabulous, you look glamorous. So how do you establish yourselves as a professional image? I think that it's about the work that you put into. It's just like being in a real life stage. So these pictures that I showed can tell you the glamorous side actually hides a lot of um, 
details. And all these details are not difficult to obtain. You just need to put in a little efforts and then everything will fall into place. And the image that you portray can actually convince other people. So the portrait, the, the thing, the image that you portray is just your head and your upper body. What you need to remember is that you need to work on different details and then the image that you present will be better. So if you can make that fine tune adjustment, you can actually grasp more opportunities. Just like Sally said, you need to be seen. You also need to see the world. So I think that's the thing we need to remember. So that's my presentation. I really think I want to thank every one of you here for giving me this opportunity. And I would also hope that all of us can have a better professional image and may you have a better career with Janice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ming. So once again, today I would like to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for sharing with us all these wonderful tips and these wonderful details about, for example, how to present ourselves in the best way. You look so beautiful in front of the camera, that's because you've paid attention to so many details behind the scene. So in my past experiences, when I work with Ming, um, for example, she offered me a lot of useful recommendations, how to, for example, um, turn off the um, curtains, the shades, or how to set the light. So once again, thank you, uh, Tracy Ho, Michelle So, Sally Liao, and Ming Li. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, having us in this training session, how to leverage digital tools and have successful, beautiful online meeting. So I have a recommendation for everyone. Please. Um, check out Jeunesse Live website when, uh, regularly because we have announcements or dates available to everyone. So if you um, save the day, you wouldn't miss any event. And of course, we have online um, replay. So once again, thank you to everyone in front of the screen. So thank you to all the trainers. Thank you again. Bye-bye.